Rob, Mr. Lee, Jay. Well, I'm going to teach you a lesson. Ooh. Because he happens to be a very good friend of mine. Watch out! He's going to be Watch very out. pleased with Watch me out. when he... Have you ever thought about what became of the brilliant cast of A Fish Called Wanda after the film's final scene? This classic comedy not only entertained audiences, but also showcased a remarkable group of actors, each with their own unique stories. In this video, we'll take a closer look at their lives post-Wanda, exploring their careers, personal milestones, and relationships. We'll find out who is still thriving in the entertainment industry, who has moved on to different pursuits, and who has sadly passed away. Join us as we delve into the captivating tales of these stars and discover the legacy they left behind after this iconic film. John Cleese, born on October 27, 1939, in Weston Supermare, England, is a multifaceted talent best known for his work as a comedian, actor, writer, and producer. He gained fame in the 1960s as a member of the British comedy group Monty Python, which became a cultural phenomenon with its unique brand of humor and absurdity. Cleese's distinct voice, towering presence, and impeccable timing have made him a beloved figure in comedy, particularly known for his roles in films like A Fish Called Wanda, 1988. In A Fish Called Wanda, Cleese plays Archie Leach, a barrister entangled in a complex heist and romantic relationships. The film was a significant success, earning accolades for its witty script and performances. Cleese co-wrote the screenplay with his longtime collaborator, Charles Crichton, showcasing his talent for blending comedy with intricate plots. Throughout his career, John Cleese has experienced both peaks and valleys. After Monty Python, he found great success with the television series Faulty Towers, which he co-created and starred in. The show, set in a dysfunctional hotel, received critical acclaim and has remained a favorite among audiences, often cited as one of the greatest British sitcoms of all time. Cleese's portrayal of the irritable hotel owner Basil Faulty became iconic demonstrating his exceptional comedic skills and ability to create memorable characters. Despite his successes, Cleese faced challenges in his career. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, he struggled to replicate the same level of success as in his earlier years. However, his resilience and dedication to his craft led to a resurgence in popularity with projects like The Holy Grail and various voice roles in animated films, including Shrek and Harry Potter. On the personal front, John Cleese has been married four times. His first marriage to Connie Booth, a fellow Monty Python member, lasted from 1968 to 1978. And they have one daughter, Cynthia Cleese, who followed in her father's footsteps, working as an actress. Cleese's second marriage to Barbara Trentham in 1981 lasted until their divorce in 1990. He later married Alice Eichelberger in 1992, but that marriage ended in divorce in 1997, 2008. Cleese's relationships have often made headlines, with his candidness about love and marriage revealing a man who is both introspective and humorous about his romantic life. In 2012, Cleese married Jennifer Wade, a woman he has described as his soulmate. Their relationship has brought him happiness and stability, with Cleese often sharing his affection for Wade in interviews and public appearances. The couple has enjoyed a relatively private life together, away from the tabloids, which Cleese appreciates. Currently, John Cleese is 85 and still alive, and continues to be active in the entertainment industry. He regularly appears in interviews and documentaries, sharing his insights and experiences in comedy and film. Cleese has also been involved in various projects, including stand-up comedy tours and film appearances, showcasing his enduring passion for performing. Michael Palin, born on May 5, 1943, in Broomhill, Sheffield, England, 
is a renowned actor, comedian, writer, and television presenter. Best known for his role as Ken in A Fish Called Wanda, 1988, Palin's career has been marked by a unique blend of humor, charm, and versatility. His performance in the film, where he plays a dim-witted but lovable accomplice in a heist, showcases his comedic talents and ability to create memorable characters. Palin first gained fame as a member of Monty Python, the iconic British comedy troupe known for its innovative and absurd humor. He contributed to several of the group's most beloved sketches and films, including Monty Python and the Holy Grail and The Life of Brian. Palin's ability to switch between different comedic styles and portray various roles made him a standout member of the ensemble. Beyond Monty Python, Palin's career includes a variety of successful projects in film, television, and theater. He has starred in acclaimed series such as Faulty Towers, where he played a memorable guest role, and Ripping Yarns, which he co-created and starred in. His comedic timing and distinctive voice have made him a recognizable figure in British entertainment. In addition to acting, Michael Palin is an accomplished travel documentarian. He has hosted several travel series, including Around the World in 80 Days, which aired in 1989 and followed his journey retracing Jules Verne's classic novel. This venture not only showcased his adventurous spirit, but also highlighted his knack for storytelling and engaging with diverse cultures. His travel documentaries have been well received, earning him numerous awards and recognition for his work. On the personal front, Palin has been happily married to Helen Gibbons since 1966. The couple has three children, Thomas, William, and Rachel. Palin often speaks fondly of his family life, describing it as a source of joy and stability amid his busy career. His commitment to family is evident in his interviews, where he emphasizes the importance of balancing work and personal life. Throughout his career, Palin has experienced both critical acclaim and public adoration. His contributions to comedy and television have earned him several accolades, including BAFTA awards and a knighthood in 2019 for his services to comedy, television, and travel writing. He remains a beloved figure in British culture, known for his warmth, intelligence, and humor. As of now, Michael Palin is 81 and still alive, and continues to be active in various projects, including writing and television appearances. His legacy as a member of Monty Python and a versatile entertainer ensures his place in the hearts of comedy fans and viewers worldwide. His work continues to inspire new generations of comedians and storytellers, making him a cherished figure in the world of entertainment. Tom Georgeson, born on August 8, 1937, in Liverpool, England, is a distinguished actor known for his versatile performances in film and television. He is particularly recognized for his role as George in A Fish Called Wanda, 1988, where he portrays a bumbling and somewhat hapless accomplice in a heist. Georgeson's comedic timing and ability to embody the character's quirks contributed to the film's success, showcasing his talent for blending humor with dramatic moments. Georgeson's acting career spans several decades, with notable appearances in various television series and films. He gained prominence in the 1970s and 1980s, featuring in acclaimed British dramas such as The Sweeney, The Professionals, and The Bill. His performances in these series solidified his reputation as a skilled character actor, capable of portraying both comedic and serious roles. In addition to his television work, Tom Georgeson has appeared in several films, including The Long Good Friday, 1980, where he played a supporting role alongside Bob Hoskins and The Remains of the Day, 1993, a critically acclaimed film directed by James Ivory. His filmography reflects a diverse range of characters, highlighting his adaptability and depth as an actor. 
On the personal side, Georgeson has largely kept his private life out of the public eye. He was married to his wife, who has been a supportive partner throughout his career. They have a daughter together, though details about their family life remain relatively private. Georgeson has often emphasized the importance of family, suggesting that his home life has been a source of strength and stability. Throughout his career, Tom Georgeson has enjoyed a steady presence in the entertainment industry, contributing to both stage and screen. His performances have been praised for their authenticity and emotional resonance, earning him a loyal fan base. While he may not be as widely recognized as some of his contemporaries, his contributions to British television and film have been significant. As of now, Tom Georgeson is 87, still alive, and continues to engage in acting projects, although he has reduced his workload in recent years. His legacy as a talented character actor endures, with his work leaving a lasting impact on audiences who appreciate his unique blend of humor and dramatic flair. With a career spanning several decades, Georgeson's dedication to his craft and ability to create memorable characters have solidified his place in the annals of British entertainment. Kevin Klein is a celebrated American actor, born on October 24, 1947, in St. Paul, Minnesota, Lewis, Missouri. Growing up in a family that appreciated the arts, his mother was a homemaker with a passion for theater. Klein developed a love for performance early on. He studied at Indiana University, where he honed his craft before joining the public theater in New York City. Klein's career skyrocketed in the late 1970s, with his performance in the musical On the 20th Century, earning him a Tony Award. He gained widespread acclaim for his role as Otto in the 1988 comedy A Fish Called Wanda. His portrayal of the neurotic character showcased his exceptional comedic timing and earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, solidifying his status as a Hollywood leading man. Throughout his career, Klein has taken on a diverse range of roles in films such as The Big Chill, 1983, Sophie's Choice, 1982, and In and Out, 1997. His ability to effortlessly transition between comedy and drama has endeared him to both audiences and critics. Despite experiencing challenges in his career, including periods of less visibility, Klein remained committed to his craft, continually seeking challenging roles. In his personal life, Klein has been happily married to actress and singer Phoebe Cates since 1989. The couple has two children, a daughter named Olivia, born in 1991, and a son named Spencer, born in 1994. Klein and Cates prioritize their family's well-being, maintaining a relatively private life away from media scrutiny. Their strong family bond has provided Klein with stability and happiness, allowing him to navigate the pressures of fame. Klein's professional journey has included both high points and challenges. After a successful run in the late 1990s and early 2000s, he faced a period of reduced prominence. However, he continued to pursue meaningful projects, including voice work in animated films like The Lion King, 1994, where he voiced the character of Tom. He also returned to the stage, winning another Tony Award for his role in Present Laughter in 2017. As of now, Kevin Klein is 67 and remains an active and respected figure in the entertainment industry. He continues to take on new roles in film and theater, demonstrating his enduring passion for acting. Klein's legacy is marked not only by his impressive body of work, but also by his ability to connect with audiences through diverse performances. He serves as an inspiration for aspiring actors, proving that dedication and love for the arts can lead to a successful and fulfilling life. Patricia Hayes was a talented English actress, renowned for her versatility and commanding presence on stage and screen. Born on December 22, 1909, in London, England, 
she had a prolific career that spanned several decades, becoming a familiar face in British film and television. Hayes is perhaps best known for her role as Mrs. Cody in the 1988 comedy A Fish Called Wanda. In this film, she played the mother of one of the main characters, contributing to the ensemble cast that included Jamie Lee Curtis, John Cleese, and Kevin Kline. Her performance in the film showcased her ability to bring warmth and humor to her characters. Hayes's acting career began in the early 1940s, and she quickly established herself in the theater scene. She was known for her work in various stage productions, including Shakespearean plays, which laid the foundation for her acting skills. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, she made numerous appearances in British television series, which helped to build her reputation as a skilled actress. Her notable television credits include roles in shows like The Avengers, Doctor Who, and The Good Life. In addition to her work in film and television, Hayes was an accomplished stage actress. She performed in numerous theater productions throughout her career, earning critical acclaim for her performances. Some of her most notable stage roles include performances in plays like The Seagull and The Importance of Being Earnest. Her ability to seamlessly transition between genres, from comedy to drama, showcased her range as an actress. Despite her success, Hayes faced personal challenges throughout her life. She experienced the ups and downs of the acting profession, including periods of uncertainty and financial difficulties. However, her resilience and passion for acting drove her to continue performing, and she remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. On the personal front, Patricia Hayes had a rich and fulfilling life. She was married to actor and director Derek Benfield, with whom she shared a deep bond and mutual love for the performing arts. The couple enjoyed a long and happy marriage, supporting each other's careers while raising a family together. They had two children, a son and a daughter, who were often the center of her world. Hayes spoke fondly of her family life, emphasizing the importance of nurturing her children and providing them with a loving home environment. Sadly, Patricia Hayes passed away on September 19, 1998, at the age of 88. Her death marked the end of a remarkable career that had left an indelible mark on British cinema and theater. She is remembered for her captivating performances, her warmth, and her ability to bring characters to life on stage and screen. Jamie Lee Curtis is best known for her role as Wanda in the 1988 comedy film A Fish Called Wanda. Born on November 22, 1958, in Santa Monica, California, she comes from a distinguished acting lineage, being the daughter of Hollywood icons Tony Curtis and Janet Lee. Curtis made her film debut in the 1978 horror classic Halloween, where she quickly established herself as a talented actress, particularly in the horror and comedy genres. In A Fish Called Wanda, Curtis portrayed the cunning and seductive Wanda, who becomes embroiled in a plot to steal a fortune in jewels. The film was a critical and commercial success, showcasing her comedic timing and chemistry with co-stars John Cleese, Kevin Kline, and Michael Palin. Her performance earned her a BAFTA Award for Best Supporting Actress, further solidifying her status as a prominent actress in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Curtis has experienced both peaks and valleys. After her breakout in horror films, she transitioned successfully into comedies and dramas, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Some of her other notable works include Trading Places, 1983, True Lies, 1994, and Freaky Friday, 2003. In addition to acting, she has ventured into writing, penning several children's books that emphasize the importance of self-acceptance and confidence. In terms of her personal life, Jamie Lee Curtis has been married to director Christopher Guest since 1984. 
The couple has adopted two children, a daughter named Annie and a son named Thomas. Curtis has often expressed her love for her family and the joy that motherhood has brought her. She has shared insights into the challenges and rewards of parenting, particularly in the context of raising adopted children, and has spoken about her commitment to ensuring her children grow up in a supportive and loving environment. Curtis has been open about her struggles with body image and self-acceptance, topics she addresses in her writing. She has often emphasized the importance of embracing oneself, a message that resonates with many of her fans. Over the years, she has become an advocate for body positivity, challenging Hollywood's unrealistic beauty standards. As of now, Jamie Lee Curtis is 65 and still alive and continues to work in the film industry. She has received critical acclaim for her recent roles, including her performance in Everything Everywhere All at Once, 2022, which earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Curtis remains a beloved figure in Hollywood, known for her talent, charisma, and authenticity. Despite the ups and downs of her career, she has maintained a strong presence in the industry, successfully adapting to changing times and trends. Jamie Lee Curtis has proven herself to be not just a talented actress, but also a resilient and relatable individual, earning the respect and admiration of fans and peers alike. Maria Aitken, born on September 12, 1945, in Edinburgh, Scotland, is an accomplished actress and director known for her versatile roles in film, television, and theater. She gained international fame for her portrayal of Wendy in the 1988 comedy A Fish Called Wanda, where her performance added depth and humor to the ensemble cast, including Jamie Lee Curtis, John Cleese, and Kevin Kline. The film, a blend of heist and comedy, became a cult classic, and Aitken's role was pivotal in its success, showcasing her comedic talent and ability to share the screen with more established stars. Aitken's career began in the 1960s, and she quickly made a name for herself in British theatre. She trained at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, RADA, and started performing in various productions, including Shakespearean plays. Her theatre work has been extensive, with performances in London's West End and in notable productions across the globe. Some of her stage credits include The Real Thing by Tom Stoppard and The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. Aitken's experience in theatre has undoubtedly enriched her film and television performances, allowing her to bring a unique depth to her characters. Throughout her career, Maria Aitken has faced both highs and lows. While A Fish Called Wanda remains one of her most recognizable roles, she has appeared in numerous other films and television series. Her credits include The Last Place on Earth, 1985, The Inbetweeners, 2011, and The Tempest, 2010. In addition to her work in front of the camera, Aitken has also made a name for herself as a director. She directed several acclaimed productions, including the hit play The 39 Steps, which received praise for its inventive staging and sharp comedic timing. On the personal front, Maria Aitken has experienced the ups and downs of love and relationships. She was previously married to the actor and playwright Paul Aitken, with whom she shares two children. The couple divorced in the early 1990s, but Aitken has remained focused on her family and career. She has spoken about the challenges of balancing her professional life with motherhood, often emphasizing the importance of her children as a source of inspiration and strength. As of now, Aitken is 78 and continues to work in the entertainment industry. She remains active in theater and has taken on various projects both in front of and behind the camera. Her contributions to film and theater have been recognized with several awards and nominations, cementing her legacy as a talented performer and director. Jeffrey Palmer was a distinguished English actor, celebrated for his remarkable contributions to television, film, 
and theatre. Born on June 4, 1927, in London, England, he had a career that spanned over six decades, during which he became known for his distinctive voice and commanding presence on screen. Palmer's early life was marked by the challenges of World War II. He served in the Royal Navy before pursuing his passion for acting. He trained at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art, where he developed his craft and honed his skills in performance. His early career began in theater, where he gained experience in various productions, eventually leading to roles in television and film. Palmer became widely recognized for his television work, particularly for his performances in British sitcoms. He starred in the hit series As Time Goes By, alongside Judi Dench, where he played the role of Lionel Hardcastle, a former soldier who reunites with his wartime love. This series, which aired from 1992 to 2005, brought him a new level of fame and showcased his talent for both comedy and drama. His chemistry with Dench was a highlight of the show, earning him a place in the hearts of viewers. In addition to As Time Goes By, Palmer appeared in numerous other television series, including Butterflies, The Fall and Rise of Reginald Perrine, and The Last Detective. His versatility allowed him to take on a wide range of characters, from charming leads to more complex, nuanced roles. Palmer's film credits include notable appearances in The Madness of King George, 1994, and The Last of the Blonde Bombshells, 2000, further demonstrating his talent across various genres. Palmer's personal life was characterized by a strong commitment to his family. He was married to actress Sally Green from 1970 until her death in 2009. They had two children together, a son named Charles and a daughter named Harriet. Palmer often spoke fondly of his family, highlighting the importance of their support in his life and career. Throughout his career, Palmer faced the typical ups and downs of the acting profession, navigating the challenges of the industry while maintaining a steady presence on screen. He was well respected among his peers and often received praise for his work, both in comedy and serious roles. His unique voice and ability to convey emotion resonated with audiences, making him a beloved figure in British entertainment. As of his later years, Jeffrey Palmer continued to act, contributing to projects until his passing. He died on November 5, 2020, at the age of 93. His legacy lives on through his extensive body of work and the fond memories he created for audiences around the world. Palmer's contributions to theater and television have left a lasting impact, and he will be remembered as one of the great talents of his generation. As we conclude our look at the cast of A Fish Called Wanda, it's evident that their lives have been filled with diverse experiences, both on and off the screen. From ongoing success to personal journeys, each actor's story is a testament to their talent and resilience. While some are no longer with us, their legacies live on through the joy they brought to audiences. Thank you for watching, and let's continue to celebrate the remarkable talent that made this film a true classic.